we go out and we get excited when we see people we know. Kiss, kiss, we know each other's names, hug, hug. But the point of what we're learning today is how to introduce everyone to everyone else. That's what we do in publicity. And we have to make the producer want to meet, the star want to meet, the TV person want to meet, the blogger want to meet, the person who has gone to outer space. Let's figure out how to introduce everyone so they want to get started talking. At a party, cling to your host for as long as they can bear it. They know everybody and they'll introduce you. When they stop introducing you, it means their focus is elsewhere, move on. When you're introducing two people and you don't remember their names, just say, oh, you two are my favorite people in the world. You have so much in common. Can't wait. Hey, hey. Monica, this is Jane. Hi. She also has a dog. Nice to meet you. Do you have a dog? Whether it's like you like the hotel, you like the movies, you like the park, you like you're alive, you know, almost anything will do. It's important for people to remember your name and for you to remember their name. If you have a name like Susan Blonde, you can go like the hair color, blonde. Hello, nice here comes Kyle. Hi, my name is Monica, but Monica with a K, M-O-N-I-K-A. But with their name, you have to do the same thing. So if their last name is Juliet, you'll go, oh, Romeo and Juliet. By the time you're introduced to someone, you read up about them on social media. So you know everything about them. In fact, you've seen every picture of them, flattering ones and unflattering, and you know what they do and what they watch and where they go. So figure from that one or two things that are interesting, but keep it subtle. You don't want to seem like a stalker. If someone's been following you on Twitter, they know everything about you. They know where you're going and who you went with and what you like. And so they feel like they know you. They feel like they've been following you. They know what your life is about. So they're like kind of bored. They don't want to ask those same questions. So they, they've heard the answers. So you have to have a new routine, actually. If something's called for six, get there at seven. It'll peak at eight. By 8.15, if you see there's only 10 people left, run, leave, even if you're in the middle of a conversation. It was a great party. It was a really good party. See ya. Thank you for watching. For more blonde tips, go to SusanBlondeInc.com and follow me on Twitter at SusanBlonde.